it's a crisis that's that's been growing and and probably has been impacted uh, by the pandemic as well. Um, and that's why we feel so strongly that uh, we need to change the way that we're we're addressing this issue. So we're hosting an evening. Um, we'll be screening a documentary called Flood: The o- The Overdose Epidemic in Canada. Uh, followed up by a panel discussion with mental health and addiction experts, um, emergency service experts, as well as those with lived experience, um, those who've, who've lost members uh, to the opioid crisis, as well as the director of the film. Um, so it will be a documentary followed by what we hope will be a very engaging conversation. Brian, tell me of the United Way's uh, function in this, because I know that uh, the organization does play a strong role in, in uh, helping in communities in different ways. And obviously, this is one of those roles, right? Yeah, so our United Way um, looks at focusing on investing in projects. So in, in Muskoka, we, we fund the Circles Muskoka program, and we also um, deliver the Low Income Energy uh, Assistance Program, as well as our Urgent Needs Fund in partnership with the district. Um, but specifically, when it comes to opportunities like this film screening, we feel that we have an important role from education and advocacy perspective. Uh, and in this case, really, it's about reducing the stigma uh, related to overdose and 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 addiction. Um, we are not mental health experts. We are not addiction experts, but we are in the business of uh, of building stronger communities for everyone. And the first step is that we we start having adult conversations and we start recognizing that the way that we've been addressing um, the opioid crisis and the way that we we've been addressing um, addiction prevention isn't working. And we need to change the way that we're dealing with this. Um, and I think the other thing we need to remember is that this is not only happening in back alleys um, or back streets. This is happening in middle class households. Um, this is happening with with professional adults. This is happening with high school age students. Um, addiction is an illness and we need to adri- address uh, and treat addiction like an illness. And what we know about illnesses is that they do not discriminate. Um, and to this end, addiction does not discriminate. Everyone is susceptible. And I, and I dare say that you know, every one of your viewers has been touched um, by addictions, whether it's themselves or whether it's a family member or a friend. Um, and, uh, and to that end, we need to start dealing with this um, in a different way.